Hey guys, this is a video on circular motion and we're going to sort of combine centripetal acceleration, centripetal force, and period of revolution all into sort of one question. So we are told that the centripetal force for a 6 kilogram bicycle to maintain a circular path with radius equals to 2.5 meters is 39 newtons. We're asked what is the speed of the bike and then what is the period of revolution. So I'm just going to write down the information we know from the question. FC was equal to 39 newtons. The mass was equal to 6 kilograms. The radius was equal to 2.5 meters. And is there anything else? I think that's it. So first we're asked, what is the speed? Okay, so I'm going to start with F equals MA. Now we know that the centripetal force is equal to the mass times the centripetal acceleration. FC, we already said, was equal to 39. Mass was 6 kilograms times the centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is equal to v squared over r. So I'm going to write that down instead of ac. And the reason I wrote that instead of ac is because we're not asked for acceleration, we're asked for speed. And speed is a measure of velocity. So all I'm going to do now is divide by 6 on both sides. 39 divided by 6 is equal to 6.5 and that equals v squared over r. We were told r is equal to 2.5 so I'm going to multiply by 2.5 on both sides. 6.5 times 2.5 I guess that's equal to 16.25 and that equals v squared so v We'll just take the square root of both sides. And the square root of 16.25 is about equal to, I get 4.03, so let's just say that's about equal to 4 meters per second. So that's all there is to finding speed. Then we're asked what is the period of revolution. So, we know that, let me just erase this. We know that centripetal acceleration is also equal to 4 pi squared times r over the period squared. But we know that the centripetal acceleration is also equal to v squared over r squared. And we just solved for v, and we found that v equals 4. We're given r. 4 is just a number. Pi squared is just a number. We know r is equal to 2.5, same as this r here. So we have everything we need to be able to solve for the period. So I'm just going to plug in all of the values we have for the variables that we know. So v squared, v was 4, so v squared would be 4 squared over r squared would be 2.5 squared equals 4 pi squared times 2.5 over t squared. 4 squared divided by 2.5 squared. I get that's equal to 2.56. 4 times pi squared, that just means 4 times pi times pi. And I get that's equal, oh and then I have to multiply by 2.5. And I get that's equal to about 99 over t squared. So all I'm going to do is multiply by t squared on both sides and then divide by 2.56 on both sides. And then what I should have is t squared equals 99 divided by 2.56. 99 divided by 2.56 I get is equal to 38.5 so that's t squared is 38.5 
So t will be equal to the square root of 38.5. The square root of 38.5 is about equal to 6.2. So your period is about equal to 6.2 seconds.